It's a once in 400 year event in the sky tonight. It is called the Christmas Star and we are live at the Roper Mountain Science Center with Jennifer Romatelli. And uh, this is actually not a star, although it has the name of a Christmas star. What is it exactly, Jennifer? What we're actually seeing tonight is called the super conjunction and it actually happens uh, approximately every 20 years when the planets, the two largest planets in our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, pass each other from Earth's perspective in our sky. So tonight they're going to be closer than they have been in over 400 years. Wow, that's pretty incredible to think about. So when and where should people in our area look to the sky tonight to actually see this happening? Is there a specific spot? Well, anywhere that you have a clear view of the southwestern sky is going to be a good place to see it in your sky. It's going to be uh, not terribly high up, right, following the setting sun. So we're getting pretty close now. The sun's on its way down. And as soon as the sky starts to reach twilight, Jupiter is bright enough to see during twilight. And Saturn's going to be so close to it tonight that you barely will be able to tell that there's two objects. They'll almost look like they're, they're one. If you have a pair of binoculars, you'll be able to to see both of them and probably some of their largest moons or even a small telescope oh, oh gosh this is so exciting so i know we touched on how often it happens um, but i also want to know so every 20 years but why 400 years why is it so different this time around just the way that they're aligning correctly so it's just um, a normal thing. Jupiter takes 12 years to orbit the sun. Saturn takes 30 years to orbit the sun. Of course, Earth takes one. And in order for them all to line up and appear close to each other, that happens approximately every 20 years. But this particular time, they're especially close from our point of view. The last time they were this close was in 1623. And at that time, it was so close to the sun that we don't think anyone really saw it. So the last time anyone saw it this close was actually 800 years ago oh. in 1226. <laughs> oh my gosh. So even, yeah, more time than we thought here. So. Do we need to look for it right away when the sun sets or will it be visible throughout the night? Uh, it'll only be visible for about an hour or so. I would say between uh, 5.30 and 6.30 would be your best times to go out and take a look for it. Um, however, if you do miss it tonight, and tonight is a beautiful clear night, so I think it's the best opportunity, um, they'll still be very close for the next several days through okay. Christmas Eve or so. That was going to be my next question because we'll be on air, I think, when it's probably <laughs> peaking. Um, so people, if you miss it tonight, you can still get out the next few days up until Christmas. Um, it won't be as close, but you'll still be able to see it then? Yes. Okay. Well, something that will happen. And they'll be moving slowly further apart over the next week. Okay. Something Kendra, our meteorologist, and I will have to do then because we were really excited uh, to see this this happen. Um, anything else you would like to add about this rare occurrence happening this week? Well, as you can see, we've got our telescope getting ready to, to film and we're going to be taking some great pictures. So if people want to see what our telescope sees, uh, keep an eye on Roper Mountain's Facebook page and we'll post those pictures in the next few days. <laughs> Perfect. Well, that's something we're going to have to do here. Uh, thank you so much for your time and your insight, Jennifer. We really appreciate it.